hundreds of lives. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Bruma Ants channel. In this video I'm going to upgrade the setup of my biggest ant colony, adding a homemade Y-Tong nest and a very cool tube spiral. Let's get into it. As you can see, this colony is in desperate need of a nest expansion. For this reason, I've decided to connect the Y-Tong nest and the tube spiral I made some time ago to their current setup, giving them a lot more nesting space. But before I start connecting the Y-Tong nest and the tube spiral, I've got some small tasks to do. The first thing I have to do is to add these little felt pads under the Y-Tong nest and the tube spiral. Four on the nest and four on the spiral. The pads are very soft and easy to cut. You can simply do it with a normal scissor. Using these pads will make them a lot more stable, reducing the risk of making them fall off the shelf. A thing that we definitely don't want to happen. They are very easy to mount. Just cut them to the appropriate size, remove the thin plastic film, and you're ready to attach them where you need them. The glue under the film is extremely strong, and should stick to the Y-Tong block with no problem. Perfect! A lot more stable. Now we can do the same thing with the spiral tower. These useful types of pads will also help to avoid any unintentional scratches on the shelf. Very good. Now that the Y Tong and the spiral have a proper base, it's time to move to the next task, adding a red shield to the Y Tong nest. As you probably already know, the majority of ant species are not capable of seeing the red light spectrum. This is a really good thing for us ant keepers, as we can take advantage of it by creating a system that enables only the red light to enter the nest. This particular type of red film should help create a dark and comfortable environment inside the nest, blocking the light from entering the chambers. I'm going to replicate the curved shape of the transparent front panel, just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Perfect! To keep it in place, I'm going to use these tiny magnets. I've got these from the magnets you can find in a very popular child's toy. Simply remove the external plastic and keep the two little magnets you find inside. Wow! It looks awesome! The last thing I have to do before starting to connect the nest to the outworld, is to enlarge a bit the entrance hole. To do that, I'm going to use a 12mm drill bit, the exact outer diameter of the tube of the spiral. I'm trying to turn it very slowly in order to not damage the Y Tong, which is in fact an extremely fragile material. Perfect! Now let's insert a small ball of cotton inside the nest connector. By doing this, we can mount the connector without having any escapees. Now it's finally time to connect all the pieces together. Let's start by connecting the tube spiral to the Y-Tong nest. Good! It fits perfectly. Next step, connecting the tube spiral to their current setup. Let's try to do that without causing an ant invasion. Perfect! The tube seems very tight. Just some seconds after attaching the spiral, 
and we can already see some brave ants starting to explore the new environment. She seems very determined. There she goes again. She's already at the second level. I wasn't expecting all this bravery. Finally, to the nest. She probably changed her mind. Another try? Yes, mission accomplished. She's finally starting to explore their new home. I hope they start to move part of the colony to this amazing new nest. Wow! Not even 10 minutes and the tube spiral already seems like an ant highway. I will probably spend hours watching the ants travel up and down the tube, on their way to their new Waitong nest. I'm very pleased with the result. I think it looks amazing. I hope to have inspired some of you with this project. I hope you have found this video entertaining. If you like the content make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you like DIY projects and you're interested in knowing how I built this very cool tube spiral, I would suggest you check out this video. In this tutorial I explain in detail everything you need to do in order to build your very own tube spiral. See you soon in another video.